Welcome to Daily Gospel Reflection. The gospel passage for our meditation is taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 5 verses 17 to 19. Think not that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have come not to abolish them but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you till heaven and earth pass away not an iota not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished whoever then likes us on one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven but he who does them and teaches them shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven the gospel of the lord Today's gospel passage taken from Jesus sermon on the mount presents Jesus as giving the highest compliments to the Mosaic law. These words of Jesus that Matthew reports touch the communities of converted Jews, helping them to overcome the criticism of the brothers of their own race who accused them saying you are unfaithful to the law of Moses. Ironically Jesus himself would be falsely condemned and crucified as a lawbreaker. Jesus says that the Old Testament as the word of God has divine authority and deserves total respect. The Mosaic law was ultimately intended to help people honor God by practicing love. Its moral precepts are to be respected because they are for the most part specific divine positive promulgations of the natural law but christians are not obliged to observe the legal and liturgical precepts of old testament because they were laid down by god for a specific stage in the salvation history in today's gospel jesus says that he did not come to destroy the laws but to bring it to perfection by bringing out its inner meaning because he is the ultimate self revelation of god the law giver That is why the council of Trent declared that Jesus was given to us not only as a redeemer in whom we are to trust but also as a lawgiver whom we are to obey. This honored the two basic principles on which the 10 commandments were based namely the principle of reverence and the principle of respect. In the first two four commandments we are asked to reverence God reverence his holy name reverence his holy day and reverence our father and mother the next set of commandments instructs us to respect life the marriage bond one's personal integrity and others good name the legal system another's property and spouse and one's own spouse jesus declares that he has come to fulfill all divine laws based on these principles by fulfilling the law jesus means fulfilling the purpose for which the law was given that is justice or righteousness as the scripture calls it a word that includes a just relationship with god in obeying god's laws and church laws let us remember these basic principles of respect and reverence Our obedience to the laws needs to be prompted by love of God and gratitude to God for his blessings. And I pray may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.